A good night of Shabbos to everyone. It's Rosh Chodesh Adar. Today, tomorrow, Shabbos Rosh Chodesh. It's a wonderful, special time as we enter Mishinich Nas Adar Marben Besimcha. But you know, if you're not Nichnas, if you don't jump in, you don't get involved. The Simcha doesn't come. If you want to experience Simcha, you have to mich Nichnas. You have to jump in, you have to go in. So this is the third uh, segment of our discussion of Breslev and Chabad. One of the former leaders and manhigim of Breslev in Tzfas was Reb Elazar, or Reb Luzer, as they would call them, Koenig, Koenig. Now the Koenig family is a Yerushalayim, Yerushalmi family, some of the Kenigs were Breslover, some were Chabadniks, Lubavitchers. And Rebbe Loza Kenig, he had, he, he had a shaykhis, he had a connection to the Rebbe. And he brought the Rebbe a sefer that his brother, I believe, wrote, Teres Nosen, which is from Rebbe Nosen Nemedov, the prodigy student of Reb Nachman of Breslev. So this goes back to the to the issue that is important to know. You know, the word out there is that Reb Nachman said that whoever comes to me, Arish Hashanah, all their sins will be forgiven, etc. In the research that I'm doing now for the upcoming book on Breslev and Chabad, I was told by experts, Breslov Achsidim, who know the writings of Reb Nachman, Reb Nosen, and others, that this isn't exactly what he said. What he said was that, and just for a moment, Reb Nachman came to Uman in, I think, after a year of 1810, and he passed away, Chalamoit Sukkis, 1810. So he was a total of one Rosh Hashanah in Oman that we know of. Before that, he lived in Breslov. That's why he's called not Rab Nachman of Oman, he's called Rab Nachman Breslover. Although the faction of Breslov, known as the Na Na Nachmans, they they say, na, na, nacha, nachaman, meuman. And <clears throat> his resting place, his, his matseva is in Uman, and that's where there is this huge pilgrimage today of 30 to 40, 50,000 people. But what did he actually say? He said like this, that, you know, Rab Nachman and Rab Nosen and Breslov is into tikkunim, rectification for your sins. And primarily the sins that are associated with Tikkun Abris, with the intimate part of man which needs correction and Tikkun if used in an inappropriate way, any way, shape, or form. So, so Reb Nachman said that there are times that he cannot accomplish Tikkun for an individual, for whatever reason. So he said, but if you come, Bresh Hashanah, and you'll be there, Shoshana, he'll be able to accomplish a tikkun that he himself couldn't accomplish throughout the year. So I verified that that statement is coming from Reb Nosen, who heard it from Reb Nachman, because it couldn't be from Reb Nachman. The, the one year that he was in Oman, he was alive. So you... To, to assume that he's talking about after his passing, it just doesn't, as we say in Yiddish, this is what Reb Nosen heard from Reb Nachman, and Reb Nosen wrote it down. The bottom line is, that is the real issue. Why Reb Nachman wanted everyone to come to him in Uman on Rosh Hashanah. which is a very interesting phenomenon. You know, it tells you that the whole idea is for tikkun apris or tikkun b'chlal. And here, I must say that this whole approach, as wonderful as it is mitzah tikkunim, 
It's not the Chabad approach. The Chabad approach, in general, A, we don't kochzich, we don't, we're not immersed in tikkunim, not in tikkun abris. On the contrary, the Rebbe has so many letters where the Rebbe says, divert your attention. Messiah das, from these type of th- thoughts. When Bacharim, especially Bacharim students who accidentally were involved in such such things, they wrote to the Rebbe for a tick, and the Rebbe said, memorize from chapter 41, from the beginning, the first 12 lines, or the Maim of Adar, the Pnei Zokim, that's one type of tshuva, and primarily divert your attention and just immerse yourself in Dvarim Tevim, in, in good things, and, and doing more and more good. But nevertheless, it doesn't mean to say that Reb Nachman's derech is not a holy derech. Of course it is. And today, Uman has become, you know, I doubt whether, you know, those 50,000 people know this Nakuda that we just shared. Why are they coming there? For inspiration. And that's a good thing. When people in Yidin get together, and there's Achtus Yisrael, there's unity, and they put aside their differences, and you have Sfardim and Ashkenaz, Mechsidim and Litvaks, and this color yarmulke and this color shirt, and puts on tefillin, doesn't put on tefillin, and, and he agrees or disagrees. All of that, and they come together to one Mokim, to one holy place, is an awesome, an awesome thing in the eyes of Hashem and in the eyes of Yiddishkeit. Another thing that... Um, it's important to know as we conclude our segment of Breslev and Chabad is that that the 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 the, the Breslev Chsidis today, two hundred years, outlived all this heavy criticism that we spoke about earlier briefly. In the book, it'll be more in detail. But pr- pretty much, there were three stages of attack on Reb Nachman. The Shpola Zayda in 1810. 1835 was the Moshe of Savran, the Savraner. And then in 1863 64 was Rabbi of Square and Rabdovid of Tolna. And regardless of all of this, all of this, Reb Nachman, Reb Nossen, and they, 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 they outdid, they outlived. The attacks and the criticism. And that shows that it's an emes a derech. That it's a true derech. Chabad also had attacks from the Alter Rebbe to the Tzemach Tzedek to the Rebbe Marash to the Friedrich Rebbe and the Rebbe. Just read those the last five books that I just came out with. Chabad and Ponovich. Who can forget about those issues? And we tackled it, Baruch Hashem. And it's incumbent upon you to read it, not because I wrote it, because you need to be informed. And we not only survived, we thrived. And Breslov is also thriving. The publications that I see coming out in English and in Hebrew, and Rabbi Sholem Arush, who's a Breslover teacher and a manik in Eretz Yisrael, his book, In My Garden, I believe, has, the name of the book, has sold over 2 million copies. Who, who else can say that? Which other group? Including Lubavitch, including Chabad. So let us not, let us not underestimate the Koyach that Breslev and Rab Nachman is functioning today. This doesn't mean to say that Breslev is Chabad and Chabad is Breslev. It's not. It's two separate Mahalchim approaches. So Rabbi Yisrael when we get together on Shabbos and Vorchem Oder, some say Shabbos and Shchodesh Oder, Marm Besimcha, let us go in with Simcha, let us go in with Gvaldikait, and unite more Yidin, and everyone should choose their path, regardless of what your path is. Achdus Yisrael, Jewish unity is where it's at. Abish will help. This, this will bring the Geula Shlema, the eradication of the terrible Magefa. And we say to be as Mashiach to Kano, because of Mamish, a good Shabbos, and a Freilichen, Chaydish, other, don't forget to say Lechayim.